News of Hollande's alleged affair has consumed French media. And for more perspective on the role of sex in politics, let's bring in Mark Sockleben. He is a professor at Shippensburg University. He joins us from Harrisburg in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Elaine. I enjoy being with you. You know, a few years ago, the French media wouldn't even bother mentioning the mistress of a president. So why now? Why do you think the culture, uh, do you think the culture is changing, or do you think this is just an excuse to bring Hollande down? Well, I, I think it's a combination of things. Uh, first of all, I think you're seeing the Americanization of media around the world. Um, and so you see the media beginning to uh, uh, fill time on 24-7 uh, news channels, uh, media uh, outlets such as the uh, tabloid that published the, the photos of the president and his alleged mistress um, has to fill copy too. And secondly, um, there's no doubt President Hollande is very unpopular right now and this is a way to get at him. In your opinion, which countries around the world are the most liberal when it comes to sex and politics and which countries hold their leaders to a higher moral standard? Well, I think traditionally, I, when we look at kind of Western democracies uh, at, at, to start with, I, I think before this would have all broken, I think you would have thought that France was the most liberal. Um, you would have seen somebody like uh, President Mitterrand, who had an affair throughout his term as president, um, and it wasn't revealed until towards the end of his life. And at his funeral, his wife invited his mistress to sit beside her at the funeral. Uh, along with uh, his mistress's daughter. Um, and on the other side of the spectrum, you probably would have thought that uh, the United States was the most conservative in this, uh, holding their politicians to a higher standard. But I think things have begun to change and there's more of a conversation. Um, and um, so I, I would hesitate to say that that is not, that's the case anymore. You know, President Hollande is making the argument that he deserves privacy, but does power come mm -hmm. with privacy or none at all? Well, I, I think that's a difficult question. Um, I, I think that, that in an open society such as France or the United States, we, would, we want our politicians' lives to be open so there's no kind of questions of scandal or improper uh, influence from outside uh, sources. Um, at the same time, that has to be balanced against a politician's privacy rights. And uh, the president has invoked uh, privacy in this matter. Um, I think, you know, some people could understand why he does that. But at the same time, there's a tension in an open democratic society why you want uh, the press to be scrutinizing what politicians do and who they see. All right, Mark Sockleben, we appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us.